How you doing, guys? Uh, just wanted to make a little video about uh, uh, the conversion that I uh, did for my uh, Shenhua uh, SW900 lathe uh, for uh, uh, an inverter, uh, a VFD drive. Um, this is an uh, inexpensive Huan Yang uh, HY02D223B inverter. Uh, this inverter takes uh, 220 volts single phase and uh, makes 220 volts three phase uh, from zero to 400 hertz. Um, basically, it's a, about a $150 inverter from uh, China. Uh, this particular one is 2.2 uh, kilowatts, uh, which is uh, sufficient for about three horsepower. Uh, the lathe uh, originally came with a um, I believe it was a one horsepower uh, motor. Uh, I had some issues with it. Uh, got hung up on a few cuts and messed up a couple of parts. So uh, decided to uh, go overboard and I went with a, a, a three phase, three horsepower motor on this lathe and uh, the uh, inverter to match. Um, I was able to uh, hook this all up so I can still use the original apron switch for both forward and reverse um, and uh, I'll run it just so you guys can hear it. That's in the forward direction. That's in the reverse direction. As you can see, uh, sounds really nice. Um, got the parameter set just so that uh, took all the wine basically out of this thing. Um, I'll uh, give you guys a little uh, camera tour of it. Um, the wiring's not uh, completely hooked up yet, or secured I should say, not hooked up. It's all hooked up, but uh, not secured. Um, basically I just uh, ran it so I could uh, run this thing for demonstration purposes. I still gotta uh, run all of the uh, strain relief and all that good stuff on it, but um, for right now it's um, set at uh, uh, about 60 hertz, uh, 60.4. Um, the, uh, the adjustment on it is super, super twitchy. So like if you just barely breathe on it. So usually if I get anywhere near 60, I just leave it and I very rarely um, go much more than um, uh, 60 hertz, but I do have this one set at uh, 70 for the max. Um, I like to change the belt speeds uh, on the pulleys rather than uh, make the motor uh, go out of its operating range too much, although uh, this particular motor is sufficient. It'd run from uh, uh, 30 to probably 90 hertz without any problem all day long but um, ain't no sense in stressing it although this uh, three horsepower motor I never see stress in this lathe uh, now it has sufficient power to do whatever um, but um, I'll take you around the back side of it to show you the motor and pulley arrangement here uh, this uh, motor is a uh, Dayton uh, three horsepower 56 frame uh, 1750 uh, RPM motor. Uh, the original pulley size had a, a, a three quarter inch shaft. I had to bore that out to uh, seven eighths and uh, re broach the, um, uh, the keyway in it. Uh, it left the metal pretty thin on the outside of it, so hopefully um, I don't break that pulley. But if I do, I'll just make another one and uh, put it on there. Um, as you can see, the uh, motor is uh, quite shoehorned in there. Um, but it doesn't scrape anywhere or doesn't touch anywhere, which is really nice. Um, I was able to uh, reuse the um, original switches. Uh, this is actually the contact point for the, um, the apron switches. Um, take you back around here to the front. And um, we'll show you uh, basically uh, how we set up the parameters here. Um, touch program uh, PD000 is your reference you probably don't want to mess with that you're gonna leave that as zero PD001 uh, we're gonna set that to to one 
PD002 we're going to set to 1. PD003 set I went to 60 because that's our uh, base frequency um, here in North America we're getting 60 Hertz so uh, that's what you want to feed this inverter 60 um, program four uh, we, I set that as well to 60 because that's uh, going to be the the base frequency five uh, is set I set mine to 70 but you can set yours uh, all the way up to 90 for most motors um, uh, if you have a, a, a inverter rated motor um, you can use the full range of this uh, inverter uh, from 0 to 400 uh, Hertz uh, this is not um, a, a typical inverter rated motor um, although the windings in this one are quite heavy and I could probably run it at a, a bigger frequency base but um, uh, basically I, I just run mine up to 70 and uh, I quit there but um, you guys can run it up to 80 or 90 without major issues Okay, that was five. I don't do anything with six, seven, eight, or nine. Uh, or excuse me, nine, I did change. Um, or excuse me. Okay, uh, that's eight. I'm so sorry. Uh, program number eight, uh, PD008. Uh, I got 240 volts coming out of my wall. You, you may be able to get away with uh, uh, 220 volts if that's what you're measuring. My voltage is high here, so um, I set 008 at 240 volts. That's my uh, uh, line here. Set, 240 was set. Um, the next adjustment I made is PD 26. I set mine to one for a coasting stop. Uh, you can set yours for a decelerating stop. I like mine just to cut all the power to the motor. Um, you could have a controlled stop if you like. I, I, I just don't like that function. Um, the last one that I messed with in parameter one here is PD41. And that is your carrier frequency for your motor. Um, if your motor's uh, making all kinds of electronic noise, uh, kind of a uh, a whining noise uh, when it starts up and if you don't like it well you can always turn up the carrier frequency um, in this particular motor um, I set the setting to 12 and uh, that took out all of the discernible noises and uh, as you can hear it's uh, that's maximum That stopped. And anytime I get anywhere near 60, I just leave it there. But uh, uh, sometimes for threading, um, I'll, I'll turn it down uh, to 30, uh, 35 uh, hertz. And uh, does quite nicely. For threading slows it down a little bit and still gives you enough torque and all that but uh thanks for watching